Hey everyone, I'm Zach Mueller. And I'm Kristen Gerhardt. And welcome back to Expose. Expose. Insert clip right now. It's May now, and you know what that means. It's time to start the countdown to Kristen and Zach's birthday weekend extravaganza with my birthday on June 2nd. And mine on May 26th, which is first. So let's put up the countdown. 17 days left! Actually, there should be two countdowns because it's two separate birthdays. You are so right, but you know what? This countdown ends when IMX begins. What an odd coincidence, don't you think? Right, that hurts my eyes. All right, let's get into the news. Have fun. Yeah. I'll see you guys in just a few You can short, leave a now. Few, few short minutes, I'll be back. So don't worry, don't change that dial, okay guys? Dial? What are you, like, in 1955? Shin Lim posted an awesome video featuring monarchs in the media section this past Tuesday that is definitely worth checking out. Shin has the hands of John Stamos, the moves of Di Vernon, and actually, you know, he's just really sexy. Basically, he's insane, and you can check the video out on the media section right now. David Copperfield will be hosting a live Magic Chat event this coming Tuesday, May 8th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 3 p.m. Pacific. Follow Theory11 and David Copperfield on Twitter for the link as soon as it's posted. Mark it in your calendar right now. Speaking of Twitter, Facebook, and the interwebs, Theory11 is now on Instagram. What up? If you're one of the bazillion and a half people on Instagram, follow Theory11 to get an inside look behind the scenes. I might even just post a new picture of me sporting a lip ferret. And now over to Zach. For whatever he does. I don't know. Thank you, Kristen. Now let's get into it. Fresh on the wire this week, we have a brand new download called 52 Shake Up, a trick in which you draw all of the numbers and suits of playing cards onto the cellophane of a card box. Then visually you shake the cellophane and all of the Sharpie drawings disappear except for the number and suit of the card selected. Pretty interesting effect and I was actually genuinely fooled by this trick. So definitely go give it some love on the wire. In San Diego this year, Shin Lim told me his favorite cards were the Monarchs. And when he told me he was making a trailer for the Monarchs, I kind of thought he was kidding. He wasn't kidding at all. As Kristen said, it's an awesome video with some insanely visual magic and even one of my own original moves that looks like this. Shin then added a couple things to it and his looks like this. Whatever, I could do that. I just don't want to. Anyway, it's a ridiculous video, so go check it out. Just released today here at Theory 11, we have The Force is a short, simple, and sweet download by Matthew Beach that is honestly really fooling. I'm really shocked that I didn't understand it the first time I watched it, and then I learned it, and I, I understand it now that I learned it, but anyway, it's awesome. It's very easy to do and easy to learn. I am a huge fan of it, so go check it out. Quick sidebar, whoever says that French people are rude have not yet met Matthew Beach. Lastly, let's talk about the SNC. SNC? Zach? What's that? Well, I'm glad you asked, which we definitely didn't plan at all. The SNC is our weekly Saturday night contest. If you've never hopped on our forums or have just missed it, every week we hold a challenge which varies from building the best card castle to inventing a new flourish to, like last week, guessing Andre and Michael's bowling scores. Every single week we offer some amazing prizes from uncut sheets to full bricks of cards. So if you haven't participated yet, Go join in on the festivities. We do it every Saturday night. Yeah, I think they got that from Saturday night contest. Just saying. Leave. Leave. Leave! Now I'm gonna hand it over to Rob Anderson. Take it away. Thanks, Zach and Kristen. Yes, we are back with part two of our interview with Marco Tempest. Um, let's go to a question from Katie Miller from Brisbane, Australia, who wants to know how you see your magic evolving in the future. Well, I think magic is a, an excellent sandbox to prototype future technologies. By that I mean that the illusion we can create with magic is so real that it is indistinguishable from what it might feel like when the technology actually arrives. So what I do is I, I prototype things like how would projection feel like if it's ubiquitous and intelligent? What does gestural sensing do in the future and how could it be used to tell stories? 
So this is an ongoing theme in my work and I try to kind of follow technology as it evolves. I, I evolve with it, I guess. Excellent. Awesome. That's great. I'll take that a step further beyond what Katie asked and ask you, where do you see magic in general going in the future? Well, I think magic will retain its diversity. We always see trends like everybody's inching towards mentalism or people inch towards cardistry. These are kind of micro trends within magic. Magic is a really wide field with so many different things you can do. So I think uh, the future of magic will remain like that. Magic will be super diverse with, with many different fields and many different people doing a lot of different things. But there will always be trends and if this year it might be using mobile phones to do your magic, next year it might be telling stories and the, the, and the, and the year after it might be being really good with coins. I don't really know what the trends will be, but magic will retain its diversity for sure. Definitely agreed. Andre Jick asks a very good question here. He wants to know how important is self-reinvention? Well, I, I think it's a, it's a wonderful exercise if you allow yourself the opportunity to reinvent yourself and not being stuck in whatever you figured out works for you. So. Um, it's a little bit risky, but uh, I found in my career that it's, it's a really great thing to do to, to abandon what you're doing and try something new. I did this a few times. I once spent half a year doing nothing else than posting cell phone videos on the internet uh, for free. And a lot of good stuff happened from that for me. And then I, I spent a few years now creating stuff, tools, digital tools, and sharing them with other people for free. Uh, which sounds super counterintuitive to give away your IP for free and a lot of good things came out of it. So, um, and as always, it's kind of, it's risky, it's a little bit dangerous to go into a completely different direction, but uh, it can be super rewarding because you're going to have an opportunity to work with new people, collaborate with different people, uh, see into different fields. Um, I think it's, 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 the, one of the best things we can do as magicians, we have all this freedom, so why not explore it and uh, try as many different things as possible. Thank you so much for joining us once again, Marco, and back on over to Andre. Hey guys, Andre Jick here with a quick brief video update for you. Uh, just last week we talked about going out in the middle of nowhere with Homer Lee Wag, Patrick Kuhn, and Michael James and my girlfriend to shoot a quick update video. It was just for fun and GoPro actually happened to pick it up for their Facebook page for video of the day and it got a lot of reviews, got a lot of great responses, uh, 200 shares and like a thousand likes, something like that within the first two hours. So score, plus one for Carter Street, it was great. Here's a quick behind the scenes video. So the sound effects actually took longer to perfect and to master than the moves themselves. So if I could give you one piece of advice, work on your sound effect skills. They help your performances tremendously. Next thing on the list is we got these uh, masks. No, they're really not masks, they're just uh, stickers. So with every ship purchase, you're gonna get one of these cool stickers. And as you can see, they're silver and they're not all solid. They're actually kind of like in the shape of the logo. And they're great, you can put them anywhere. So uh, I like to use it as a mask, just like that. It helps my card skills enormously as well. So, Andre Jick signing out. See you guys later. As always, thank you all for watching. On behalf of myself, Kristen, Rob, and the rest of the Theory 11 team, we hope you have an awesome week. Kristen's going to continue eating this entire tin of cookies, even though MagicCon is over. You're going to have to accept the denial at some point. And we'll see you next Friday. Seriously, stop eating them. Or at least give me one, maybe. Share. Learn to live life. No? Okay. See you next Friday. Really? For real? We're fine, my bitch!